So, how about that haiku contest winner from episode 19? The winning entry. <clears throat> After I push up, I ease myself down. One more. I can't move. Damn it. Now, while this is not exactly the most motivational of haikus, I find that it cuts to the core of the human condition. Also, uh, when I first read it, I laughed and shot hot chocolate out of my nose. So, congratulations to Frank, all the way from Scotland. Send me your address and you'll get your resistance band sometime before the heat death of the universe. Also, uh, speaking of contest winners, from episode 14, Green Neo 101 sent us this picture and wanted to say the following. Thanks to Gene's inspiring saga, I now know the true meaning of Christmas. Wait, what? Move, damn you! Larry, what are some pull-up variations I can do that don't require any special equipment? My pull-up bar does not have extra handles like yours. Well, a few things actually come to mind. There's uh, moving from side to side. You can grip hand over hand, and this will emphasize one side of your back a little more than the other. And if you really want to test your grip strength, then use one or two towels and hold onto those instead. This towel method is harder than it looks. And of course, there is uh, always training for the one arm pull up. Dear Sam, what is up with your accent? Born in Hong Kong, I learned English from an English lady by the name of Mrs. Durkin who came from Hammersmith, London. Moved to Australia at the age of seven, spent seven years there. I did manage to pick up a full-on Australian accent at that time. Um, went back to Hong Kong, went to a British high school to finish off my high school. Uh, my economics teacher was Irish, my math teacher was Scottish, my uh, chemistry teacher spoke Queen's English from, from I think it was Kensington. That's about it. So what would you uh, say you speak now? Mm, British English with an Australian and a Californian twist. Hella. 